Let's take a look at what happened this last week in Fire Athletics. The Southeastern University women's golf team tied for third at the World Golf Invitational, hosted by Flagler at the Slammer and Squire course Monday through Tuesday. Individually, Ana Uribe was the highest finishing NAI golfer in the field, tying for second with rounds of 73 and 74. Valentina Espinosa was tied for 22nd with a total of 156. The Fire men's soccer team came out on top in a back and forth first half against Middle Georgia State to win their 11th game of the season 3-2 on Wednesday in Cochrane, Georgia. Julian Hall scored the game-winning goal on a free kick, his eighth tally of the season. The SCU softball team was swept in a doubleheader versus Cumberland's on Thursday before splitting a doubleheader versus number 11 Campbellsville on Friday. In game one against Campbellsville, the Fire plated eight runs on nine hits in the sixth inning to end the contest 10-2 by run rule. Katie Atkins highlighted the beginning for Southeastern with a three-run home run. In their second matchup of the season, the number 11 SC women's basketball team defeated Weber International 82-43 in Babson Park Thursday night. Gabrielle Ozud had a game high of 26 points and 16 rebounds, with seven of those rebounds being on the offensive end. For her efforts, Ozud was named Sun Conference Player of the Week for the third time this year. The Fire men's basketball team snapped their Sun Conference skid with a thrilling 64-63 win on the road versus Weber International on Thursday night. Riley Maddox and Devin Ford led the way in scoring for SCU, totaling a team leading 18 points each. The number one SCU baseball team swept their Sun Conference opening series at home versus Thomas three games to none on Thursday and Friday. Junior infielder Sam Faith earned his second TSC Player of the Week nod after hitting 818 at the plate with four home runs over three games, including three homers in the series finale. Senior righty Drew Gillespie was named TSC Pitcher of the Week after tossing eight innings of one-hit baseball, striking out eight Nighthawks. The Fire men's and women's track and field teams had another impressive weekend, posting top results at the Sanford Invitational on Saturday. In the open 400 meters, sophomore Uriah Bigos finished second with a time of 56.99, followed by junior Namaya Simpson, who crossed at 57 flat. They are now fifth and sixth nationally in the event, respectively. On the men's side, junior Darian Carter won the 60-meter hurdles this weekend for the Fire, running a time of 8.02 in the finals to now hold the first and the second best times nationally. The Southeastern women's soccer team won an overtime thriller on Saturday afternoon versus Middle Georgia State to remain undefeated at home. Aisha Solorzano took a through ball from Hannah Ryberg and fed Naira Lopez in front of the net, who buried the golden goal. 